My name is Richard Laub. Chemical engineers, like all other engineers, use advanced mathematics and physics to solve technical problems. But chemical engineers are the only engineers to use the powerful science of chemistry to solve a wide range of problems. In other words, they separate, cause reactions, and combine molecules to build useful products. Chemical engineers at the PI are trained in three specialties. Oil refining, gas processing, and the petrochemical industries. They learn the fundamentals of these three disciplines in their coursework. In petroleum refining, the hydrocarbon molecules of crude oil are separated and recombined to form chains with suitable size and structure through physical distillations and chemical reactions in a refinery. You will find chemical engineers working for Takrir refineries in Umalnar and Ruwais. In the gas processing industry, light molecules like methane, ethane, propane, and butane are sent to the gas processing plant for further processing into popular products we use every day. You will find chemical engineers working in Gasco's gas processing plants in Hapshan, Ruwais, Asab, and Buhasa. In the petrochemical industry, the hydrocarbons of smaller refined molecules are combined through chemical reactions to produce large molecules like polymers in the petrochemical plants. You will find chemical engineers working in chemical plants making products like ethylene and polyethylene at Barouge in Ruwais and products like ammonia and urea at Fertile also in Ruwais. Understanding the chemistry of hydrocarbons in crude oil is basic to becoming a chemical engineer. Crude oil consists of hydrocarbons that are made up of carbon and hydrogen molecules in many different combinations. To make useful products, these chains will be broken down, separated, and recombined. For instance, in the refinery, using atmospheric distillation, some of these molecules are separated into useful products like gasoline, jet fuel, and diesel fuel, which are efficient and economical to make. Other products are gases such as methane, ethane, and propane. Ethane and propane are commonly used as a feedstock in the petrochemical industry. For complex organic molecules found in residual crude oil, chemical separation is used. This includes thermal cracking, which uses high temperatures, catalytic cracking, which uses a catalyst like aluminum silicate, and hydrocracking, which uses hydrogen gas. It is essential that chemical engineers also understand the structure of the refining and petrochemical industries. They will learn how to design equipment for processes like separation and heat transfer.
They will learn about process control schemes for industrial units. They also study the economics of supply and refining operations. ADNOC needs many chemical engineers to work in the refining and petrochemical companies throughout the UAE. Remember, chemical engineers are the builders of useful products.